what up guys so made it to SEMA it is packed so uh, we're gonna go check out my car we're gonna go check out everything that's out here there's a ton of freaking people out here excited to be out here and thank you to Zendex to Gojax so let's go ahead and see what we got Just about to go into one of the halls and already outside is crazy. Um, I've been to SEMA before, but this is definitely the most the craziest SEMA I've been to. It's packed, there's a ton of things to do, there's a ton of things to see. So we're gonna see what we can go ahead and check out today. Uh, go see some of the sponsors that helped us out on the build and see what other crazy builds are out here. I know there's a ton of supers out here that are white bodied and everything. But there's a ton of other amazing stuff to check out too. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that and uh, see what uh, the last day of SEMA's like. All right, so we're actually here at the Auto Guide booth. And this is the first A90 Supra that has a six speed manual gearbox. Looks super OEM, so amazing. Great job to these guys here, European Auto Group. Let's go ahead and check out what else we find. Ready booth. This monster. Wow. Damn. Here, Freddy. I'll check it out on this side. You guys check him out you got everything you're gonna need for the blaster end too so make sure you guys check him out for sure
here we are. TJ Hunt Supra. It's a prototype kit and it looks damn well for a prototype kit. Yeah, yeah it's already, look at them Brembo's right there, dude. This this kit, this entire kit is 3D printed, dude. What? Yeah, it's a 3D printed kit. Inside PPG here, this entrance itself looks exciting. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, this is oh, this is great. Oh my god! So we're just getting over here to the Toyota booth and it looks like it's just Supra on Supra on Supra for Toyota this year. Going hard on that marketing for the Supra. This is the one that pays a tribute to the MK4. See the, the hood, how they went ahead and mocked it like the MK4? Yeah, that's cool. You remember when, uh, way back we'll in back uh, Scion days on 5 axis and stuff like that? There's stuff on these cars? Yeah. They like it. <laughs> yeah, it's just super everywhere. This is different. Look at the carbon wheels, the barrels on it. George, look at the barrels on this.
TJ, congrats on the Supra, man. Looking good. the glory there it is Alright guys, so I made it over to the X-Force booth. Here is the Veloster N system that we have on the car right now. It is ready for production. So, all you guys that have been waiting for a system, complete system for the Hyundai Veloster N, this is what you guys want to go ahead and get. Has a valve, so it will open and close not only that if we go over here the smart box will go ahead and control it with the app so you can go ahead and go manual mode and decide how you want this to be opened and closed you can go ahead and do matrix mode and this is going to go ahead and open and close your valve depending on the throttle percentage rpm or speed we can go into geo mode this is gonna go ahead and do this based on the geolocation. So if you wanna go ahead and set a geolocation up and have it close, it'll go ahead and keep it closed. Once you leave that area, it'll go ahead and open up and give you everything that you need. And this is what that smart box looks like. This is what I have in my car. So you'll be able to go ahead and control all of that. It'll have GPS, it'll be able to go ahead and plug into OBD so that way you guys can get everything that you need. So definitely check that out. I know X-Force has a pre-order uh, ready to go. And uh, if you guys have any questions, do not hesitate to go ahead and give them a call, email them. Uh, we know that they'll go ahead and take care of you guys. 
So let's go ahead and check out the rest of the show, see who else we can find out here. So we're still here at SEMA. My stabilizer died, so it's gonna be a little shaky. Wifey and I here are still going strong. We're, we just left uh, X-Force, had a great conversation with them. The uh, exhaust is actually gonna be available here really soon. Let's make a left here. So it's gonna be ready really soon here. Actually, I think within the next week or so. Uh, it's up here at the new product showcase at SEMA. Uh, and I cannot wait to go ahead and show you guys what that video is gonna look like with X-Force when they go ahead and uh, feature what it does. So let's go ahead and see who else we find and what else uh, we can still find on the last day of SEMA here. And we are just getting to the Hyundai booth. So, let's see what they got here. They got a couple of different Veloster ends. This is the one that Bissimoto himself worked on. Amazing. Looks great. Dang. Momo seats. Fitment is great. 1552. Inno rack is pretty cool. Definitely nice. Piece model tune over 320 horsepower. Nice. This is the M Performance car here. The concept. I have to say that I really like it. But it also looks a lot like mine. Ooh, the shift knob. The spoiler is nice. That would be a completely different spoiler than the one that we have on the end because it does have the sections here. So it wouldn't be just a swap for the top piece like it is on the Audro carbon fiber uh, spoiler. It would be the entire piece that would come out. The diffuser, definitely love that diffuser. And those tips. I actually like mine better. Oh, wait a minute. That's a sensor. That's a reverse sensor, a proximity sensor. These are proximity sensors. So heated seats, heated steering wheel, Awesome. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, look at this one over here. Wow. 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 This is a Veloster NTCR. That's awesome. It's amazing. Looks great. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we got. So I'm back in LA and I realized that I did not uh, record anything to end that video. Uh, so it was nuts. There was a whole bunch of cars everywhere and it was just a crazy experience. I ended up not doing SEMA Ignited because it takes about three hours for you to get out of the booth space and have you go through the route just to be told that the parking lot's full. So I went ahead and skipped that, went home, and then the next day did some crazy, crazy stuff, of which I'll show you in the next video. I'm uh, getting ready to edit that, uh, so it'll be uh, pretty cool. So let me know what you guys uh, thought about that. Uh, it was the uh, SEMA experience with the Veloster N, uh, and uh, catch you guys in the next one.